Today we are going to look around an abandoned mansion. Look at this old record player. And there's still a cassette in the tape deck. That is one big fireplace. Wow, look at the master bedroom. We've still got clothes hanging up in the cupboard. So today we are looking around an abandoned mansion which has sadly been destroyed by fire but there is still a lot of interesting things left behind including two cars and quite a lot of personal items so taking a walk up this hill we're going to walk through the field and we should be somewhere near so let's go check it out and see what we can find. So guys we're just walking through this massive field at the moment to get to this location we've come across this absolutely beautiful horse and I think he's very happy to see us. <laughs> Hello mate. Look at the size of him. I don't want to get too close because I don't know the horse. We might have a bit of a temper, we don't know, but absolutely beautiful. Alright, let's carry on. Okay, so I think we've actually made it to the house now. Oh, look at this. A swimming pool still there. I'm not sure the water's the right colour though. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to pass on that. Still got a diving board though, that's pretty cool. Got a little bit wibbly wobbly. Uh, it's quite obvious that this was quite a bad fire. I see most of the roof has completely been destroyed there. There's, there's nothing there at all. It's completely gone. So let's um, take a walk up and see if we can try and find a way in, which I don't think is going to be too difficult, to be honest with you. Okay, so I don't think access is going to be a problem today. But safety, on the other hand, might be. Oh, wow. Yeah. Doesn't look very good. You can see the floor is actually ready to fall down there on that upper level. Oh, another open door. We've got some cars outside still. It's like a Ford Focus and a Nissan, I think that is. We'll check those out later. We'll have a look around in here first. Wow, oh my God. This is crazy. I mean, you can see the water damage in here. Now I know a lot of that would have come from the roof, but obviously when this was on fire, the fire brigade would have been pumping a lot of water in here to obviously put the, fire, you know, the flames out. So a lot of this has probably come from when the fire brigade were here. Also, this floor, this floor is like walking on an airbed. 
Yeah, it's crazy. There's an old Xbox on the floor there, look. There's a snooker table. Yeah. This is cool. Yeah, it's pretty nice, isn't it? Just look at the size of that snooker table. That is huge. And look at this. I've just noticed up there, you can see straight through to the upper level. There's no roof anywhere. It's completely missing. Just a few charred out timbers. Blimey. Fruit machine now in the corner. Mm -hmm. There's another one over there too. Got some PlayStation games here on the side. A couple of DVDs. Some shoes. There's a bag of clothes here. In fact, there's loads of bags here. It looks like they were probably bagging stuff up to save, but they've decided not to take it. And look at that, we've got burnt child's toys. That's quite sad, actually. There's some Peppa Pig toys in there, Winnie the Pooh. Some dolls. Look at we've still got some money in the bottom of the tray as well. Oh yeah, Aris just noticed that the light for the snooker table is actually resting on top of it. That's obviously falling down. There's a, an Xbox steering wheel there, with the paddle shifters. Lies of cables. More child's toys, more DVDs. Bad Boys 2, great film that is. It's one of my favourites actually. Let's go and check out some more rooms in this house. Oh, just noticed there's quite a few dolls lying around. Just spotted this one in the chair as well. How creepy is that? It actually looks like she's staring right at me. Oh, <laughs> don't like that. What's that there, look? Booth pressure. Brake temperature, spray temperature. Brake time, burner, burner. Hmm. We well, look at the plants growing on the floor there. That's quite crazy. There's quite a few switches on the wall there. Okay, so we come out of the games room, I'm gonna call it. it we'll go this way. Whoa. Whoa, <laughs> that doesn't look very safe in there. That does not look very safe. My God, it's quite big this house actually. Deary me, look at that. I'm not actually sure how long this house has been like this for. I'll have to try and do some digging and see if I can find any information. But look at all the stuff that's still in here. Even the drawers are still full up. Now, I have to be careful. I have to be extremely careful here. I don't think it's going to come down unless I start knocking things, but I just wanted to have a quick look over that side. It's probably as far as I dare go. I've got this pretty cool table which has been left in the middle of the room. It's actually marble. You can see the marble slate snapped where the ceiling's come down, broken it in half. But just look at what's actually in there. We've got concrete blocks in the center. And this is actually an RSJ, which has come down. So um, there's some pretty serious weight on that. I just hope that wall's um, gonna hold it up for me because that would quite literally squash me into a little pile of mush. <laughs> Whoa. This is crazy. This is so crazy. Blimey, look, we've still got loads of food in the cupboards as well. Cool, I can smell it as well. And again here. Oh, that's what I can smell. Rotten eggs. Yeah. Oh, there's loads. Look on the top shelf as well. There's loads of boxes out there. God, don't they stink? 
What's that in there? Pasta. It looks like pasta. Oh, God, well, I'll get out of here. You have to move out of the way. <laughs> that stinks. We've got in here a little small lounge. The chairs are still in there. TV cabinet's still got all the magazines, look. A couple of DVDs in there. It is sad, you know, this is um, obviously once somebody's home. You know, the fact that most of their personal belongings are still in here. You know, what does that tell you? Does that tell you that they were too upset to come in here and get them? Or did they not mean anything to them? Only the people that used to live here will know the answer to that question. OK, so I can go one of three ways now. I can go outside. Or I can go into there, which has got a huge fireplace. It looks really cool. Or I can go into this room here, which has got a lot of items left. I think I'm going to go in here first. Oh my goodness me, look at all this. So this appears to be the side of the house which is the less damage. I mean, it's still pretty knackered. <laughs> but um, there's no fire damage, I don't think, on this side of the house. It looks as if they may have um, like cleared everything into this side for some reason. Oh my God, there's a huge pile of asbestos there. That's not really good, is it? Don't get too close to that. Again, we've got more dolls. I've tripped over about three or four of them. Since walking into this room. The cobwebs in here. Leather couches. Oh, that's creepy. Snowman over there. I actually thought that was someone standing up over there then. Oh, this is cool. A record player, and it's actually got a cassette tape. <laughs> that's really cool. London and Sydney. Plants. Obviously they're not real. Look at that, we've got more asbestos here. Even more on the floor. Sadly we've got some broken china wear down there. Oh hold my breath over that. Oh look at the old clock. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Flooring. Yeah, it's parquet flooring, isn't it? That fireplace is pretty cool though. That would be lovely around Christmas time. I know it's a huge safe there. Oh yeah. <laughs> look at the look on his face. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Well guys, that's pretty much downstairs. Now I don't know how safe upstairs is, but we're going to have a little peek up these stairs. These ones look a lot more safer than the others. Let's see what we can find up here. Okay. Well, the stairs feel sturdy enough. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the wildlife. Oh. Oh my God. Okay, so this is above the kitchen where I was earlier. You can see the the floor which has collapsed. This is actually a bedroom. You can see the bed just there. Look at the roof. There's nothing left of it. I mean, this one's even worse. Look at that. Oh my God. And again, straight through there, it is just absolutely gutted. And look at the fire damage on these door frames here and on the walls. In fact, you can still smell it. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. Look at that, there's two beds in here. Oh, this is really sad. Hang on a minute. 
<laughs> don't come too close because I don't know how clever this floor is. It feels a little bit spongy, I'm not going to lie. Oh my God, look at that. That's what I'm good. stood at, look. What we got in there? There's a bathroom in there. There's just trees growing everywhere. Oh, I cannot go any further than this. This is borderline here. You can see the chimney just there. That would have actually had a, um, a log burn of some sort in it. I can't believe the trees in here. That is insane. Okay, well, I'm gonna come back out from here and let Aaron take some pictures. I think we've got a, a master bedroom just here. Oh, there, this is nice. Whoa. Look at the cot. So they must have had young children here. I mean, just take a step back and imagine this house before all of this happened. Look at the view they've got here. With that swimming pool. I mean, it's so peaceful. This area is so secluded. It is absolutely stunning, it really is. It's such a shame. Now, I don't know, like I said before, the story about this house, if it's being pulled down, if it's being rebuilt, if anyone was sadly killed in this fire. I don't know. I honestly don't know. But I will try and find out as much information as I can and drop it in the description below. So we've got a, a cupboard here, which was obviously for the parents, I'm guessing, who used to live here. We've got some DVDs. There's a few CDs there, some newspapers. I wonder if we can find a newspaper date. Let's have a quick look on there. Let's see if we can find anything. 2006. I don't know if you can see that there. Saturday, February the 4th, 2006. And we've got a Yule's magazine here. That one's dated 2008. Oh, I mean, it's hard to tell really, but judging by the wildlife that's growing upstairs, I guess it would be around that kind of time. The old mirror we've got standing up in the corner still. What we got through here? We've got some cloves in here still. Look at that, we've still got cloves hanging up. Okay guys, well that is pretty much the house done I think. We're gonna um, pop downstairs, have a look at the cars, have a look see if there's anything in the garage and I think we're pretty much done. Okay guys, so one final place to check out and that's outside, straight through the front door. Aaron's already out here. So we've got the two cars to have a little look at. Check out the house from this angle though, this is crazy. You can see the extent of the damage here. That is terrible, that really is terrible. <laughs> okay, so we've had the graffiti artists here decorating the cars, which is a shame, because I'll bet you anything, this car was pretty clean before they came here. It's quite a furry seat there. I'm guessing the owners once had dogs. Ford Focus 1.6. Again, I bet this car was pretty clean before they all turned up. This is how we found it. Look at that, we still got the service book there. 2013. That was last service, and it even had a cam out as well. It's a waste of time, wasn't it? <laughs> 
Okay, so we've got two garages to look in now. One appears to be filled with items from in the house. We've got a bed, some pictures, suitcase, some chairs. There's an old TV in the corner just there. And that's about it, really. I've just noticed this big tyre on the floor. I have noticed that there's more tyres in this garage here. There's a lot of tyres in here, actually. And look, we've got an inflatable kayak or something there as well. We've got the remains of a, a doll. That's a shame. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, that's really creepy. She's still looking as if to say, who broke me? Ooh. <laughs> that's good, that. There's quite a lot of tyres in there, isn't there? I wonder what they're all from. They're all part worn by the look of it. They've all been used. Look at this tree growing up right in front of the garage door. That just goes to show how long this place has actually been empty for. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't have had that growing in front of their garage door while they were living here. But, who knows? Well guys, I think that is pretty much the whole house done now. Aaron's going to take a few more pictures before we go, but um, we're going to make a move in a minute. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Please go and check out the Instagram, which is the Beard Explore underscore. Also go and check out the Facebook page. And like always, I'll put 10 of the best on the Instagram. I will tag Aaron's Instagram in the description below. And we will see you on the next Explore soon.